There's nothing worse for a golfer than swinging down too quick and messing up the shot. Which is going to leave the club behind slightly, delaying the club. You're going to start with the weight shift into the left. So let's get to it. Stop rushing the downswing and improve your game. So we don't want to reduce the speed. Speed is good during the golf swing. That's the part that helps you hit it further. If you look at the top pros, they're all swinging as fast as they can or controlled fast. So we want to keep that speed there, but we need to know how to control that to improve that into the ball and stop feeling like you've rushed it. To stop rushing the downswing, you need to know what, where that feeling comes from. So when you get into the ball and you're starting from the top, that rush of the downswing feeling comes from the rung synchronization of the downswing and the rung timing of body parts. So as you're moving down, the quick feeling comes from the arms and hands coming down quick, but the body not moving. So we need to change that synchronization to give you that freedom so you don't feel quick to hit better shots. So when you do pull down quick, we've got this look here that when the hands work down, the body hasn't moved, the weight hasn't moved to the left, and because you're coming down this way and you're not transferring the weight or using the body, you're not gonna hit good shots. So here's how we can do that to improve. So as we've said, we start down when we feel quick with the hands and the arms before the body. So to get out of that and the best synchronization timing for the downswing, we wanna start with the body. So we want the arms and body to match up ideally, but to do that, we've gotta start with the lower body. So the way you're gonna feel this, when you get into the backswing, is you're gonna start with the weight shift into the left, just a little movement into the left, so you've got the pressure going through your left foot now, your lead leg. From there, we've started down, but we haven't pulled the club down quick. We're starting with a movement into the left, and now from there, because you've loaded the left side, you can now start turning the lower body towards the target, getting your belt buckle moving towards the target better. So that synchronization of the lower body starting first, rather than the hands and arms, is really gonna give you some freedom and you're not going to feel like you've rushed the downswing and messed the shot up. So a good drill you can do to improve that is the pause drill. You're going to swing up to the top, you're going to have a pause, look back at the ball, and you're going to start your swing from here and you'll soon feel if you start with the hands and arms and not the body. So we're going to up to the top, we're going to start with a shift into the left and then we're going to turn. So it's going to look like this, we're going to go up, onto the left and turn. But the better you pause and be strict with yourself, pause at the top just for a couple of seconds and start moving down and you'll start to feel the body parts moving first rather than the hands and arms. So just to recap, if you feel quick during your swing, you're starting too much with the hands and arms, you've got to get the lower body moving first. And it's important to get it moving correctly as well. So rather than pulling down and having the weight on the right too long, we're going to start with a shift. We're then going to start turning the body towards the target, which is going to leave the club behind slightly, delaying the club and through. So you'll actually get more speed than the feeling of swinging too quick but because it's now in a synchronization that works it's going to feel a lot easier a lot more fluid and you're going to feel a bit more effortless when you swing and get a good strike golfers that pause drill really does work so give it a try on the range let me know in the comments below how that's helped you